Welcome back to Boise News. I'm Ben Dennis, and I'm interviewing Francis Crick. Hi, Francis. Hello, Ben. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. That's good. Okay, let's start the interview now, shall we? Sure. When and where were you born? I was born June 8th, 1916, in Northampton, England. Nice. Tell me about your family. Well... I am currently married to Odile, and I have three children, Gabrielle, Michael, and Jacqueline. Funny story about my wife. When I told her that I had thought, when I told her I thought I had made a really big discovery, she told me that she hadn't believed a word of it because I was always coming home and saying things like that. So she thought nothing of it. That is funny. Well, speaking of your discovery, in your opinion, what was one of the what was one of your greatest contributions to the discovery of DNA? Before you answer, what does DNA stand for? Well, first of all, DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. I think that I have contributed a lot to find out what DNA is, but I couldn't have done it without my research partner, James Watson. We had to take our knowledge of genetics biochemistry, chemistry, physical chemistry, and x-ray crystallography and combine all of them to determine the makeup of DNA. We discovered that DNA is actually a double helix connected by hydrogen bonds. Researchers before us thought it possibly had three strands. When we discovered that it was only two, it was a huge milestone in the history of science it provided new information on genetic code and protein synthesis. Wow, that is truly incredible. So when you discovered the double helix, what did it look like and what was your reaction when you found out? Well, it looks like a never ending twisting ladder pretty much. My first reaction was, wow, this is amazing. I have never seen anything like this. We were pretty excited about the discovery. Were you able to discover the importance of DNA in humans? Yes. We discovered that the double-stranded molecule could produce exact copies of itself and carry genetic instructions. Genes were replicated and genetic information was stored in the DNA. This discovery led you and your colleagues being awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for Physiology or Medicine in 1962. Congratulations. Thank you. It was a true honor. Thank you, Francis, for taking time out of your busy schedule to meet with me and share your insight on fascinating discovery of DNA and your contribution for the scientific world. It was my pleasure, and I hope to be on your show in the near future with my next great discovery. Thank you for joining into the Boise News. Can't wait to see you next time.